guys look one of my leaf insects has hatched so um i'm really confused because these eggs these are actually the older ones which were laid about six months ago these ones were laid just before my females passed away which was end of june time um so these are only about three months old ish and one of them is hatched which is really surprising but i'm really happy to see them so yeah, that was very unexpected. I had to quickly go outside and get some bramble. I've cut around the outside of the leaf just to make it a bit easier for them to eat. Um, but it was very unexpected. But I actually think they look really cool like this. I really like the black and white. I kind of wish it stayed around a bit longer, but when they have their first malt, which should be quite soon, then they start to resemble a leaf insect more because they turn more of a green colour. But the reason I look like this is actually a really cool reason. It's another form of camouflage. Obviously the eggs themselves actually resemble seeds. And in the wild, these would drop down and fall to the forest floor. And then things like ants would pick them up, carry them back to their nests. And obviously ants can actually pose as risk to them when they hatch. So they hatch looking like ants, sneak past them using their camouflage, and then probably scurry up a tree, then have their first malt and resemble leaf insects a bit more. But I think it's just another cool form of camouflage. And I think they look really cool at this stage. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is going to be very heavily based around enrichment and foraging toys, not only for the rats but also the mice, which is definitely a struggle. I've struggled to find foraging toys small enough to use with the mice and I'm really happy because today I've got some. But before I do that, I did just want to quickly remind you that the pre-order for my rat enamel pins runs out tomorrow, the day after this video goes up, which is Thursday, 5pm UK time, just in case you missed the chance to get the first 100 or you're not already on the pre-order list, please make sure you go to my link in the description and get yourself a pin if you want to, I will be closing the pre-orders sometime after 5 o'clock tomorrow, so make sure if you did want to get one that you get yourself on the list. It is going to be about 2 or 3 weeks, as I said, to get them made and sent to me, so it's a little bit of a wait, but it will be an even longer wait to get one if you want to wait until they're back in stock, so just make sure if you missed it, or you missed the first 100, the link to the pre-orders is in the description. Also, I did want to say a massive thank you to any of you that did purchase a pin already. I was not expecting the response it got. You guys actually crashed my website, which was overwhelming. It did panic me a little bit because so many of you were on the website at once it actually crashed. We were not anticipating that many people to A, be interested in a pin, and B, to actually want one all at the same time. So I think we sold out of all of the pins in like an hour and a half or something and then moved on to the pre-order so that was overwhelming exciting thank you so much we were just overwhelmed i couldn't even get on the website to check how much was selling so when i did finally refresh and saw they were sold out i was just so overwhelmed so yeah thank you so much i was not expecting the response i got obviously when you make something you're not too sure if everyone else is going to like it too and to know you guys also really liked them and really wanted one was just the best feeling in the world so thank you so much So yeah, let's carry on with the rest of the video now. As you can see, I've got this cardboard box behind me, which is really exciting, and I'm gonna show you what's inside. So this parcel has come from Lynn, who is Aurora Rattery. She started her own business making small pet supplies, and she also made the agility kit, which if you've not seen that video, I'll link that video down in the description and the iCards. But she's also expanded to making toys for rats and other small pets, and I'm also gonna be stocking them on my store too. So in this swap, there's a whole bunch of toys, and I've not really had a good look at them yet, so we're going to do this for the first time together. But firstly, as you can see, these two things here are tiny, tiny foraging toys. I've been desperate for some good foraging toys for the mice, and they just don't exist. I think because mostly they're made for parrots and birds, they're usually a bit bigger than this, and I'm always worried about them getting their heads stuck in holes, or just not being able to push them. So I set Lynn and Stephen on the job of making me mouse-sized foraging toys, and they've done such a good job. So this is the first one, this is modelled on a foraging toy I have for the rats, and if you remember the video where I bought all of those things, that was originally supposed to be for the mice, but it was just far too big, so this is a mini version, and I love it, I'm so excited to use it with them. I like to give my mice and my rats as much enrichment as possible, but it's really hard when you've only got one or two foraging toys that work with the mice. I want to switch it up, and now I can do that, I'm really excited. 
So this one works by them having to push all of the different sections and knock the treats out. This one is going to be fairly straightforward for them, I think. And then we've also got this one too. So this one again I asked to be designed very similar to one I have for the rats. The only real difference is I asked for it to have a base because I like them to have a good challenge, I don't want it to be too easy. And the food in the rat one just falls out the bottom, so this is very very similar, but in my opinion better, I think. So this one works, they can either lift up the top and get into the treats that way, but I was thinking with this, either stuff it with hay and then hide treats within it, so it's really really difficult for them to get out. Obviously the treats will probably have to be big enough to fit through the holes, but also the holes are not going to be big enough their heads are going to get stuck, which is a struggle I had with a lot of foraging toys I was looking at. I was just worried their heads were going to get stuck in the holes, so this is going to be perfect. Probably a bit more challenging than this one for them, but I think they need the challenge. So yeah, I'm really excited about those. Possibly in the future I'll get them to make me some more that I could put in the store. But as you can see we have all of this, which should hopefully be up in the store by now. But if you do want some foraging toys from them, I will leave the link to their Facebook page in the description. You can order these as well as the agility kit and also all of these toys you see here. But all of these ones are going to go on my store. So if you are placing an order, you can also order these too. So I'm really excited about these. Lynn has handmade these all herself. They're all either natural or wicker, they all use natural components like wood and you guys can pick which colour you'd like on the store so this one is like a blue and a green theme, this one is like a rainbow theme obviously it does depend on what I have left but it will allow you guys to pick which colour you want because I know you guys have themes in your rat cage or your mouse cage and I do like to pick the colours too so as you can see in this bag which I've not opened yet let me get one out so for example this bunting one which has a really cute owl on. Can you see? Super cute. This one is pink so if you wanted a pink one to go with your theme you can pick that. We've also got a yellow one with a really cute little owl. And then I know a lot of you also have like natural themes so maybe something like this would be a bit better suited to your theme but we've got so much in here that I need to unpack and store and put on the store so hopefully by the time you're watching this they will be up on the store. We've got so many different toys to pick from. So I put the new toys in, there's this foraging one at the front, and then Pearl is checking out the other toy at the back. What do you think? Then moving over to this side, we've got the other foraging toy, also one of the lollipop chew toys which we sell in the store. As you can see, they've chewed the beads on the top and the bottom, but I do need to put some food in and see how well they can actually get it out. So Pearl is the only one that's awake at the moment. I'm gonna wait for the others to wake up before I do that and film their reaction. I bet you thought I forgot about you, didn't you? I got one for you too. What do you think? Say thank you, Lynn. <laughs> oh, you like it. You want it? Let me hang it up for you. What do you think? Whisper, come back. <laughs> That's yours. This is not gonna last long, is it? <laughs> That's fine. Do you like it that much? With toys like this as well, it's very easy to turn them into a foraging toy. All you have to do is have treats that are small enough, so say pieces of cereal, break it up into tiny pieces and shove it into the wicker balls. They will probably destroy them very quick, but it's also something else you can do to keep your rats entertained. If you find they don't really touch or play with toys like this, try to hide treats inside to encourage them to chew it and most likely destroy it. <laughs> Look at you two. He's obsessed with it. <laughs> You're both as crazy as each other. <laughs> Do you like it? So that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to order your pin tomorrow before the pre-order closes. 
Also don't forget to check out Lynn's Facebook store which is for accessories. The link to both of those is going to be in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!